Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how my opponent lost a game immediately just by castling. After castling, the next move I made was a checkmate. If he hadn't castled, it wouldn't have been checkmate. Proof that castling can be lethal and can lose you the game. Let's start Now, as I said, I try to play unusually, not playing in the best possible way. But it does include my favourite, one of my favourite moves, or a bit later on, of moving the king rook pawn forward two places. Okay. Notice that I've opened up this column here. There are no black pawns in the way. That is essential for later. Okay? That's a simple... Bishop exchange in there, please, because they've also gained a pawn. But I wanted to lose that pawn because I wanted to open up the column. And more on that later. Okay, so I took a pawn back. They then moved their knight to threaten my queen. Move my queen out of the way. Now at the moment, the Queen looks as if I've just protected it, but there's more to it than that. And you'll see very soon what happens. They then take one of my pawns, I'm not particularly too bothered. I move my Knight out of the way. I'm planning some sort of checkmate if I can if a knight ever moves out the way this at this stage looks a bit scary because if I can somehow get rid of that knight then if I move the queen all the way up to the top if the knight wasn't there it would be checkmate I think my opponent spotted a potential threat and thought they would try and be clever not quite yet so they moved their um, knight in the way I then move my knight. This is quite a clever move, you see. On the one hand, if they take my knight, I'm going to deviate from what actually happens here. If I, they take my knight, then I simply go, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, mouse trouble. All at the top, checkmate. If, on the other hand, um, they do nothing, then they have a trapped. Um,
I could, however. Do something like that and get me into check. And I would have to move there. Then they could move there. And then, and then I would be guaranteed to lose a queen. No matter what I did. But they didn't do that. That was actually, I'd only just noticed that now actually. So it's a vulnerability of mine. I didn't even spot. But let's see what, let's go back a bit. And let's look at what they actually did after this. So, yeah. So, they said, after they moved their knight there, trying to stop me doing a checkmate, I put, moved my knight, I said, now that was threatening a checkmate, as I showed you earlier, by, um, if they take my knight, straight at the top, checkmate, if not, then, well, they could have done what I've just showed you, but they didn't. What they decided to do, because they saw it was a potential checkmate, and they were so frightened about it, they did decide to do something even stupider than that. They thought they were being clever, and so they castled. Absolutely catastrophic. The worst move possible. Even worse than just throwing a queen away. Why? Take a moment to look at the board here. The threat of me moving the queen all the way to the bottom has now gone. So why is it such a terrible move? Well... Let's just see. Well, let's supposing, I mean, I'm, I'm going to show you straight away instead why it's such a terrible move, but and hopefully you'll have thought this through. I'm going to show you what the next move is. Now, I did warn you from earlier on that I wanted to try and clear um, and remove one of my pawns from this column. I also pointed out that when this queen came back here, it was going to be more lethal than it appeared. So let's look at the next move. Checkmate. Going back, if they had, if I had, if the queen like that before, if that hadn't happened, just a minute, whoops, if that might have, if they'd done something else, so for example. I suppose they just decide to do that instead. Okay. Now, if I had taken this at this point, I could just take my queen off. Or I could have forced a rook exchange if I'd really, really wanted to. And gained a pawn in the process for those who are obsessed with... Then, it started to look a bit bad.
Um, but nonetheless, that wasn't, as I said, what happened. As I said, just, and right to the end, just by castling, they immediately lost the game. Immediately. Okay? So there you go, guys. Be very careful before you castle. All the expert books seem to say just that you should castle as soon as possible. I think castling is overrated and I showed you why. And you'll notice in this game which I won, I didn't castle at all. Thanks for watching. Bye.